So I'm spending my morning cleaning the floor because because we're always doing something around here. Always. And this project, it's not getting done right away. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Abby is always doing something in the house. If it's one thing or another, it's just ongoing. There's nothing sweeter than my baby. I'd never want once from the cherry tree. Cause my baby, sweet as can be, she'd give me two flakes just from kissing me. So let me explain. We have the nastiest carpet. I steam cleaned it, professional cleaned it, daily clean it, vacuum it. It's just disgusting. It needs to be replaced. I don't want carpet. I think that carpet in a home, when you have children and pets, I think it's ridiculous. I think whoever thought of this whole thing about covering your entire house in carpet, not a good idea. Like family homes just don't even come loaded with carpet anymore. Like all modern houses have wood floors. Why? For this very reason. So my husband, him, that guy right there that just walked into the kitchen. Yeah, he says, uh, pull it up then. Now mind you, we had a piece of the carpet that was kind of like lifting and it was like, I feel like people were tripping over it. It was causing a problem. So he says to pull it up and I'm like, okay. I said, don't tell me that because you know me. I'll, I'll pull it right up. Dad, no. Well, took yesterday, right yesterday when I left to go pick Michaela up from school after complaining about the carpet, I guess for the last time that my husband wanted to hear it, um, we have no carpet in the dining room. So I'm gonna sweep the floor. Begins. <laughs> okay you guys so let me start by telling you about this carpet the carpet has been in the house for several years we'll say and we have like a, a steam cleaner that we borrow from my sister-in-law so we've used different things to clean take care of the carpet but at this point with six people in this house and two dogs I cannot I was getting so frustrated about how dirty the carpet was getting all the time. It's like, I do all this cleaning all the time, everything is clean, and the carpet was like the one thing that just, eh, like it just throws everything off. Carpet just had a ton of spots on it. The kids have spills on it. The animals have peed on it. Like just, it was a mess. I've complained and complained and complained and I'm always talking shit about the carpet but the biggest thing that made us go ahead and pull it up was because there was a tear where the where when Home Depot put the carpet in the two seams that came together which they did this right in the middle of a room and I'm assuming it was so they can count the two rooms but it was like like come on you oh my god I'm getting attacked by flies. Obviously with the fact that the carpet was older, the seams started kind of like uh, beginning to separate. Well, it's been separating right there for so long in such a high traffic area of the house that it finally started to create like a rip, like an actual rip. Well, from that, now we have cats, we have kids, like, and it's in a high traffic area, so that started messing up too. Well, I tripped over that seam one too many times. I was so mad the other day and I'm like, this carpet, ugh, I just, I can't wait to get rid of this carpet. And my husband says, we'll rip it up. Tell her to rip up the carpet. Stop complaining about it, just rip it up, do it. And <laughs> there it is there. I go to pick Michaela up from school and just before I leave, I'm like talking smack about the carpet and they're like, rip it up. And I'm like, whatever. So I leave, I go. I think anything of it totally not thinking they're gonna do anything right basically what we're doing is trying to put up the carpet before mom gets home she's scared to do this Thank <laughs> you. 
first, she'd have to do the rest. I get back from picking Michaela up and I walk inside of the house. And when I first walk in, I didn't notice anything. Everybody's just kind of staring at me, you know? What I did notice was that Samaya was on her phone and it's after school, so she's not supposed to be on the phone. And I was kind of gonna say something, but I didn't. And all of a sudden, I looked down and I was like, <gasps> what? <laughs> Mommy. Smile. <laughs> she, she Mommy. <laughs> no, you guys didn't. My biggest fear here was that we were gonna pull the carpet up, the concrete underneath was gonna be completely disgusting, and then I was gonna feel even worse than I did looking at the nasty carpet. You had to pull it up to see what you were working with. Mm. 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 It is an awful. What the heck? No. No. Mommy. Mommy. She just, Mommy. Oh God, you did! No. <laughs> I was gonna say, why are you on the phone? She She walked in. You sit down. When my husband first said pull up the carpet, I started browsing Pinterest and looking at different options for no carpet. So were we gonna put in wood floors? Are we going to try to tile it? Are we going to, you know, stain the concrete? Because I had seen that done before also. So I started looking at concrete stain and epoxy paint and concrete paint and all of these different things. And of course, leave it to Pinterest to always have like the most beautiful, gorgeous pictures of everything, right? But I started I started seeing some really, really like unique ideas for keeping the subfloor, just the concrete. So that was why it was kind of like, okay, not really a big deal, but we're definitely gonna have to do something about this. Now, I think that if anything, you know, when you finally go ahead and do stuff like that, you light a fire under your ass to go ahead and get certain things done. So in the very near future, like I'm hoping like next week near future <laughs> we'll be able to figure out exactly what's gonna happen with the floor. I really don't know what the hell the plan is at all. Hope I can say that. I'm gonna beep that out. Hell, I don't know what the beep we're gonna do. But um, she's extremely creative. Um, Pinterest is a huge, huge platform that she used. And so therefore, um, I'm really excited to find out what the plan is and what she's going to do and but I'm not excited to find out how much this is going to cost me. <laughs> you have to not there know what I mean. <clears throat> but uh... <laughs> Whatever dear. <laughs> and that was like two days ago. So here I am to share with you guys what happened yesterday. Check it. Uh. Ooh. Every day we're getting it. Check it, uh, uh, put the place up, yeah, we know what we made of, can't get enough for you, boo, I'm a chaser, face up, now I feel a little major, blink of an eye, ego, I'm a taker, shaker, yeah, she was a born shaker, she shake me out that door to no place, damn, why you doing all that, thought you was my wife, but you stabbed me in the back, something like a rose when we came out there, we settled fast like the Vinci, I'm breaking codes, so breaking backs, come on, get your eyes up if you're slipping, put another smile like it was a last Christmas, yeah. Put your hands in the air, we'll be alright. That's right. You keep messing up my mind, but I love your sound. And I'm loving your lips like a candy bar. I ain't kidding, I just won't have ya. Ain't kidding, I just gotta have ya. Girl, you're like a nine good diamond. Every time when you put your smile on, really wanna get to know you better. Loving every minute we're together The king, a queen to be If I pop the question now, my nigga, you're like competition Got a body divine, what a vision Let me try, let me try I'm a guy Got a 
gonna roll up and now See you from a fog, got my thoughts in the sky Where we used to kiss, sunshine, shit and wow You gotta call me Every day pretend you're my baby I see more real out there lately, it's crazy Yeah, we could be the same as we claim in this kingdom shit And keep it tame, come on, baby Yeah Pull it all up and just What next? Should I sweep some more of that over to here and then go there? Is your food ready? You want to eat? We took all the carpet out of the house. I have zero carpet in my living room and dining room. And yeah. I had to take a break for a little while because all that sweeping and scraping and vacuuming and dusting, like it's hard work. I'm tired, like, so I went outside to check in and see what the kids were doing. Huh. Hey, kitty. <laughs> well, thanks for that. <laughs> I thought I said pass out a lotion, but I put too much detergent. That was my fault. <laughs> that was my bad. Oh, Ooh, you. mine is perfect. You gotta wait real quick. I got a new one. It's the same color as your nails. Yours look so perfect. Oh, matching. Cause I'm going on my hands. I already said to go on. There we go. No matter what, if it's sticky. Oh, what if I pour some on this on my hands and like rub it and just sure. Huh? Use your ramen noodles, children. What's that? Use your ramen noodles. You're vlogging. Yeah. You smile. I had to piss some water. day four. As the kids are making slime. Slime. Here, sit on your chair. Do I need more to Sit down. Yes, Yeah. Um, really? Look at that. Oh, yay. Get down dirty. You've got to add more stuff and add more bullshit. And I should have started more before that. There you go. Good job. Good job. So then you're gonna name it Mr. Pretty. But what if it's a girl? Miss, Miss Pretty. Pretty. <laughs> so wait, wouldn't it be Mr. Uh, uh, cat, no. no. After spending about probably 25 minutes outside with them just taking a break, I realized I better get back in and finish this floor if I want to try to put my house back intact before the night. gonna say that I feel like it looks weird only because I'm not used to no carpet like you don't typically see that look industrial sounds like you go when you walk into a room like you just walk to a totally different room. the acoustics alone in this room is totally different so it's amazing how carpet absorbs a voice and changes the, the tone of the house itself feels so much more open and bright, of course, because the cement is gray. And I'm kind of digging the whole industrial sort of warehousey vibe <laughs> that it gives off. Are you excited? No. He's gonna help. It's not about excitement. He's gonna help. Are you gonna help? Are you, are you gonna help? Yes. On the parts that you need me to help on. <laughs> Some really, really, really good ideas on Pinterest, and I think I can handle them. Like, I'm brave, oh god. <laughs> Holy crap, did you guys see how I literally just got attacked by a bee? Miss Dixon, you, I'm mad at you for this. This is all your fault. Talk about running from some bees. <laughs> oh my god. That was legitimately creepy. Okay, I'm going inside. Damn. Love and lust. Damn. All of us. Give me a run for my money. There is nobody.